Hi, my name is Paul Scott Black, and I am the Bowtie Gourmet. Why did the apple go to the doctor? It wasn't peeling well. Today, I'm going to be making a delicious apple crisp. So, let's roll up our sleeves and get to cooking. Alright gang, we're going to start by preheating our oven to 375 degrees. Let's talk about apples. When I'm baking with apples, I like to use different kinds because they have different textures, different flavors, and it just makes it taste better to me. On the left, I have a Honeycrisp apple. It is nice and sweet. In the middle, I have a Golden Delicious. It kind of has the texture of a pear and the same flavor too. And on the right, I have a Granny Smith, which is your tart apple. So, we're going to start by giving those a good peel and then a good dice. So then we're gonna take an 11 by seven baking dish and we're going to grease it. We're going to take our baking dish and set it aside for now. Then we're going to take our apples and to them we're going to add one tablespoon of ground cinnamon. And four tablespoons of granulated sugar. And then I like to add a half a cup of raisins, but they could be left out because not everybody likes them. Then we're just going to give it a good stir. And then we're going to add our apple mixture to the baking dish. Now we're going to make our crumb topping. We're going to start with one cup of flour. To that, we're going to add a half of a cup of brown sugar, and a half of a cup of granulated sugar. You could add oats if you wanted to. I just don't like the texture. Then we're going to add one tablespoon of ground cinnamon and a quarter of a teaspoon of ground ginger, an eighth of a teaspoon of nutmeg, and then just a few dashes of cloves. Then we're going to add one stick of softened butter.
and then we're just gonna cut that butter into the mix. Time to add this delicious topping. I like to add foil to the top so the topping does not get too done. Into the oven it goes. Set a timer for 30 minutes. During the last part of cooking, we're gonna remove the foil. And then put it back in the oven. Set a timer for 15 more minutes and then it'll be done. Tie a bow on it, cause it's done. This apple crisp is so good, you'll slap your grandma. I don't know about the apples, but you'll be peeling much better once you've had this apple crisp. My name is Paul Scott Black, and I am the Bowtie Gourmet. Please subscribe to my channel to see future videos. Click share and like videos. If you want to see some more of my Thanksgiving favorites, please click on the Thanksgiving special playlist at the end of this video.